Hello and welcome back, Gilda Games. We're in episode 12 of The Adventures of Alundra. In the last episode we did an item hunt and we spoke to every villager. As well we claimed the flail from Jess, we need this to progress with the story. As well, quick little note, I did a little bit of tweaking with the microphone. Hopefully it sounds a lot better. Alright, we're going to be going to the fortune teller, I shall meet you there. You're still. I see you walking on a path in the dry land without a drop of water. Alright, so that flashing light, that's where we have to go. We need to go to that desert kind of area. Oh, oh I see nothing but hardships that way on the other side of the desert cliffs. Okay, so we did lose a bit of health in the item hunt, but that's okay. We got it all back. So it's always good to visit the fortune teller after a little uh, adventure. Alright, so we're going to head out here. And we're going to go up these kind of wooden steps and just head out the village. Let's go past Jess's house there. Right. And up these steps. Alright, so when we get here, we want to head east. And eventually we will come to the uh, the water mill. Uh, another quick little note as well with the flail, it's not super effective against bees. The best kind of weapon to use against these guys is the dagger. It's a lot faster. So I'd really recommend using the dagger against uh, sort of smaller enemies like that. Anyways, we're going to have that re-equipped. And yeah, as well when you get here, we just follow this down until we get to a bridge or uh, the sign. Uh, we're just going to pay attention to Despair Desert. So we're just going to head right, and we're gonna, actually going to go up. So head up here. Yeah, that would be a little bit of a dash. But again, just saying I am not speedrunning this. And in this chest, we're going to have a Gilded Falcon. We now have 12 Gilded Falcons. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to head back down. And yeah, I'm going to quickly show this. So you can go uh, right here. But you're going to find out very quickly we can't do anything. Uh, Western Despair Desert, danger, uh, do not enter. So we're just going to head back out. And we're going to head straight back down. There's the bridge again. Right, so uh, where these trees are, we just head in there. I'm going to be at this bit. Right, so the flail comes in handy because you can do that. Uh, get that money. Uh, Gilda, Tarns Manor, Inua Village, Despair Desert, and Cliffs of Madness. That's where we're going to be going. We're going to be going to the Cliffs of Madness. It can be a little bit tricky. So this is a new area. Right, so we can just jump down there. Don't worry, you do not take any fall damage at all in this game. You are invincible to it. Uh, you'll come across this sign. Uh, danger, Cliffs of Madness, experienced cragsmen only. All right, so we're gonna head over here and uh, we're gonna find a like a house here. Uh, Levy Smith Shark, uh, um, armor and weapon repair at low, low prices. We're actually not going to head in there uh, just yet. We're going to head down here. So you can jump down there, uh, hold right, and we can get to this bit, but we can't do anything. You cannot destroy these. But you can uh, keep going down. And uh, we've got a chest over here, but what's in this? It's just one of these. We can only carry one. So we're just going to head back out. So that will uh, always be there if you need one. Right, so we're out of the well. Uh, we're still not uh, going to go in there instead. We're going to climb up here, uh, where that sign is, and we're going to go over here. And that's, yeah, that's right. And then up this bit, jump over those. Right. 
Uh, we'll get to that chest very soon. We're just going to go over there. So that house, we actually want to do something specific with it, but I'm going to head over here first. Yeah, I'll do that. And this is a magic elixir in there. I'll just show that just if no one believes me. There we go. It's a magic elixir we can't carry anymore. We can only carry one. Uh, actually, no, we want to head up there and go down there. Right, so in this chest here, something quite important. So Wonder Essence, this is a new item. We have not had one of these yet. You can only have one, like the other items. Uh, Wonder Essence uh, restores HP and MP, resurrects instantly upon death. So, uh, if you die, I don't know if when this revives you, if that counts as a death. So if you're close to death, you could use it and have, you could count that as a no death run. It will restore both your magic and your health. So it's a very powerful item. And it does that upon your death as well. Uh, I think this is a herb. Right. Yeah. I knew that was a herb. We want to head over that bit. So you want to jump across there. Do not uh, go down that bit. Uh, you want to come over here. Uh, come to this chest. It's going to be a uh, 30 gilder. And uh, we're going to come to the, the shack here, the kind of shop, and jump down that chimney. Levy, I've seen a lot of things, boy, but that's a new one on me. Uh -huh. Was the door too hard to open? Mm -hmm. I guess you figured out what I do here. Uh -huh. Go around town and collect garbage. Fix it, then I sell it. I am proud of that fact. And I appreciate it if you didn't tell nobody, seeing as you just got right in the head. Tell you what, you need something fixed, bring it on in. I'll make it right for free. Get back in the store, you wisecracking city dweller. Okay, so that was quite important that we did that. That's going to be important later on in the game. You going to buy something or just uh, going to stand there looking stupid? Okay, so uh, we actually do want to be in here. We're going to actually pick this up. Uh, I think it's 120. Good eyes, boy. That there's a leather vest of armor. Hasn't been popular since the village boys went out. Uh, it's a steal of a deal at only 120 gilder. Especially since that's retro craze. It's about to kick in. Deal? Uh, absolutely. This is really good. Received nifty leather armor. Why, thank you kindly. I can talk to him again. Uh, I reckon that tree blocking the bridge must have opened up, disappeared. I do. Uh, I'm thinking business is going to pick up. Everything in Levy's shop is one of a kind. Uh -huh. And don't go thinking about getting no better prices elsewhere. So, Levy's shop. Uh, in the other shop, uh, the items are a little bit more expensive. In this shop, uh, they're a little bit cheaper. Uh, we can't actually get any more, though. Because we have, uh, I'm not surprised, boy. Um, we have nine. Uh, okay, so we're going to have a look at that nifty leather armor. A trendy vest of uh, camois leather. Or cam camois leather, yes. Uh, it gives you greater protection. Against enemies, obviously. And uh, traps. Anything like spikes or anything like that will do less damage. Uh, the game will actually be a lot more difficult without it. Alright, so we're going to be doing the Cliffs of Despair. Or the Despair Cliffs. I forgot what it's called. Right, so we're going to head up here. And we're actually going to be going the proper way now. Uh, we're going to jump over that. And go up here. Actually, no, we do want to go back down. Because we can claim some more items. Uh, don't forget to jump over that. And head up this kind of bit. Over there, and we should be good. Alright, so now we can get all of these chests. Let's see what's inside. Should be 30 gilder in each. So 90 gilder. Plus 
plus that Gilda down by his shop. That's 120 Gilda, so we basically got that armor almost for nothing. Uh, to the Despair Desert. We made it. We got to the cave. This will take us to the uh, Despair Desert. Alright, so hopefully I can do the dashing. I usually fail it. Yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> right. There we go. So that's kind of tricky to do there, but I'm not going to waste too much time there. Alright, and we are at the desert now. So these enemies would actually do a lot more damage if we didn't have that armor. We're going to talk to this skeleton. Uh, a human skeleton lies half buried in the sand. The medallion around his neck says simply Paul. Uh, the bones have been picked clean by scavengers and ble uh, bleached white by the sun. Clutched in one hand is a weathered scrap of parchment. The ancient scroll says, in barely illegible handwriting, Northwest is a hidden shrine in which the Blessed One can bring sand and heart closer. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this guy. Yeah, he's not gonna bother us anymore. Go away. Uh, you do not need to head up here, I'm just uh, showing quickly. Uh, there's no need to go for that item, so don't worry about that. I think that's just a herb. Instead, we're gonna go all the way over here and go down. You do not want to go on this platform. Do not go on this yet. You, we need an item before we can progress even further. So that's where we're going to head to. So these enemies would actually be doing about 5 damage if they hit you. And uh, over here we've got some new item uh, enemies. It's a worm. When you hit it, it goes under the ground. It's really annoying to deal with. Right. They also shoot stuff at you. So I'm uh, jumping around a lot because obviously it makes me go a lot faster. Uh, this guy here, uh, all of the skeletons are called Paul. I think they all say the same thing. Uh, and this chest is a Gilded Falcon. Alright, we now have 13 Gilded Falcons. Alright, so... We want to head over there. I think... Yeah, you can just walk through that, can't you? I'm gonna get rid of that guy because he's being a bit of a danger. Right, so um, where that skeleton is, we're gonna head over here for that falcon and head up this bit. So you can kind of see these little patches of grey. Uh, these kind of help us jump uh, the sand because uh, the sand makes you jump and move slower and uh, jump less high. Right, so head over here. This bit can be a little bit tricky. Just take your time if you need to. Right, so we actually want to head here. Now we'll do it from there. Oop, Nelly just fell down. Uh, you'll recognize this bit. That's where we went in. But we can go no further. We're gonna head in this cave. So this cave is very important. We need to come here. Without this cave, we cannot progress any further. Uh, just go in there. Right, and this chest is very important. Sand cape obtained. All right, we now have a new item. Uh, this doesn't get used up like uh, other items. Uh, enables wear it to dive under sand. Uh, circle controls diving and rising. I'll, exp I'll show this off very quickly. So uh, you can go under the sand like that if you press circle. And you can press square to go faster. Uh, you just use the D-pad uh, to move around. Uh, when you're in this state as well, uh, you're invincible to enemy attacks. Enemies can't hurt you. So it's really effective if you're just trying to sort of uh, get past enemies like that. And you just press circle again and you'll rise. It's very simple to use. Okay. Oh yeah, and quickly I forgot to mention as well, you can go under those. I know I just did that in the cave, but just quickly show that you can go under these things. That's the main purpose of the cape. We need that ability, right. So, we have nothing else to do in the desert of, uh, the despair desert. We're gonna head down there, we're just gonna ignore that guy. 
So the ones with the axes, they're pretty stupid. It's the ones with the uh, sort of spike maces, they're the ones that chase you. Alright, so we're going to head up here and something's going to happen. Okay, so we're going to be in this area. What you want to do is you want to follow the wind. Okay, so you just follow where that kind of breeze is going. Okay, so this one is going uh, west. We've got these uh, rocks we can pick up. And we want to kind of chuck them sideways. Like that. You've got to be careful how you kind of throw these rocks because the wind will actually make them throw further like that and it might go up on that level and you won't be able to get the rock back. It's the best just to kind of throw them like that. Okay. Get up there. Get like right a bit. Also the wind kind of helps you jump a little bit. Alright, so this one, um, this is a little bit of a tricky one. Let's see if I can do this in one go. Uh, we want to try and get to this one down there. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Get there-ish. Nope. We will get it eventually. Try and do it in... We'll try to do it in rapid succession. Nope. Try again. Just gotta keep doing it. Sometimes Alundra doesn't want to jump. That's fine. Oh, there we go. Yep. It's a really tricky jump. Alright, so we want to go to this uh, kind of uh, flashing thing. Wait for it to do again. There you go. Ancient shrine. The whole purpose of the trip to the desert. Okay, so we're actually. Uh, we'll talk to the skeleton in the next episode. We're gonna go up here. We're gonna save the game. We don't need any health or magic. I think this is gonna be a good time to end the episode. We'll find out what is going on with the shrine in the next episode. We're going to save it on this top one. Alright, I've been Gilda Games. Thank you for joining me this session, and goodbye.